By knowing only few things, you can do pretty magic stuff. You don't have to know the whole blender, you don't have to know how to do the characters from the scratch, you just need to know how to navigate and use few functions. And thanks to these functions, you can do pretty cool stuff. Let's get started. First thing first, if you are new to Blender, we created easy to navigate short tutorials, thanks to which you can just go from scratch if you are new to Blender. So you just download it to Blender, you can learn how to navigate in Blender, how to change the colors, how to change the materials and, and so on. So all of these basics are covered in these videos, in these frequently asked questions. The link will be in the description. Okay, so let's continue in our Blender. I just Open the blender mail brown this is what i have inside all right so i see the generator i see the background i see the rig this is the rig the bone system and this is the character one thing what i want to mention is different than from characters library is that this library is a little bit more complex uh, we are using simplify function it's basically as you can see i turn it on so i have simplify on if i turn it off i see that everything is just smooth Right, so this is how it will look like in the render, but for me, because I don't need to know, I don't need to play with the polygons now, uh, I will use simplify function and it's much more easier and much more smoother to work with. Let's take a look how I can change character, how I can do the combinations. So important thing, I'm in the object mode, I need to click on the generator, now I need to go to pose mode and here I see all the switchers. So the idea here is that I have the generator and I can just with clicking on the switcher, then clicking G, it's basically the move tool. This is the shortcut, G, and I'm moving it, right? So this is how I can change the hair, right? So this is how I can easily change and combine what I need to do. Then for example, the shirt. So this is how I can change. This is how I can do combinations out of that. We also created our own script where you can generate random character inside the Blender, but I will talk about that in the end. This is how I can change the character. Pretty simple. Again, I need to be in the object mode, then click on the pose mode and voila, I'm changing the hair, for example, here. We have like mustache, for example, so I can combine moustache with the hairs or also uh, we have for example mask face masks as a uh, accessories now let's take a look really briefly how you can change the color as i mentioned you need to go to material properties be in the object node again click on the material and you're just changing the color right so this is it's here in material properties and he's in the surface so this is how easy you can change it. It's You can apply it on, on for example, hair. So it can be, for example, bl bluish or purplish color. The next thing what we can do here is trying to change the pose. One important thing what we created here is down you have different keyframes. And what is happening? Because I'm using the color and it needs to cal calculate all the lights. I'm going to change the viewport shading to, for example, this one where there is no light calculation and it's much more smoother to work with. If, for example, you don't want to see all the settings of the rig, this is how you can turn it off here in the show overlays, right? So for now, I don't need to see that. We created a timeline of different combinations. The way how it is working is that firstly, it's combining the upper body with the lower body clothes with the pants then it's combining with the hairs and then i uh, changing also the the shoes there are so many possible combinations i'm just going to check i'm going from dope sheet to timeline and i'm going to change the timeline to 30000 because you can see that here i'm just scrolling with a with a wheel on the mouse and here as you can see we have more than 12000 keyframes every keyframe is different combination of the character there are no accessories used so you can change the accessories and this is how it looks like so on the timeline you have different combinations so for example as you can see combining these shoes with different types of clothes and pants so for example i like this one one important thing is 
if you for some reason you don't like you don't want to use this timeline what we created for you, you just need to go to here to the dope sheet and here i will just change to action oh one important thing what i <laughs> almost forget i need to change again dope sheet and action i need to be on the click on the rig go to dope sheet change uh, to action if i want to have it back i need to go to rig mail wide action right and it's back okay now so if you want to have your own pose and your own character so this is how i will use that important is that i'm in a dope sheet action so now i don't have any keyframe here this is important there is no keyframe so i will choose any keyframe you want to so go to object mode then to pose mode and i will change like the hair okay i will change the hair the t-shirt and i will put the mask off right so this is this is what i have again on the timeline nothing is happening and now if you want to change the pose here it is you need to go to object da data properties and here we have lower body and upper body it's basically one rig it's divided into two parts it means that you can combine upper body with lower body it means that you can have even much more predefined poses so you have let's say 11 upper bodies you can combine it to 11 lower body so let's take a look for example i want to have standing surprise and i have the in a, I'm in the pose mode, I have the rig selected, I will click here in the apply pose. That's it. So I just applied lower body. If I want to have upper body the same, standing surprised, now the guy is surprised. Right? Again here in the show overlays, this is how it will look like. So as you can see, it also affects the mustache. <laughs> this is pretty cool, right? Uh, this is how we are playing with that. Again, important thing to mention is that we are in the simplified mode. So if I want to see how it will look like in the render, this is how it will look like. So back to simplify because it's much more faster and go to pose library. As I mentioned before, you can combine upper body with lower body, but also you can combine, for example, I don't like this shocked. I want to have like him smiling. So let's take a look what face we have here, right? So we have different faces. How I did it. This is like being <laughs> so I just in pose mode I selected only the bones I want to change so if you want to change only the face select the bones you need to be in the select box if I hold click and hold I can change to select box I need to be in the pose mode now I need to select the bones I want to change and this is how you can combine the f and create your your poses so you don't have to go and just click uh, on the bone and change the bones by one this is what you can do you are free to do so it will take a little time because it has multiple bones you need to tweak but this is how you can you can play with so this was about the poles let's take a look on the rig itself as i mentioned like i'm going here into the item uh, top right corner you can see that there's in the rig layers there are some things which are turned on but also some things are turned off so if it's blue it's turned on if it's gray it's turned off so for example if you want to have detail on the finger this is how you can turn them off right so now i can move every bone this is pretty cool to do for the animation and you can play with the with the bones there is there are two things what is important to mention this rig is consisted of two systems one is inverse kinematics the other one is forward kinematics the idea is that forward kinematics it's moving the bones from top to down so this is uh, let's turn it off the inverse kinematics i key and f key this is how i'm moving i'm moving basically the bone and all the other bones are affected but i'm going from the top bone to the bottom right so this is how you can play with the f key in case you want to have i key which is uh, good for the animation this is also there inside but you would need to handle uh you need to change the system inside the rig right so you can see that for the i key i have inverse kinematics and i'm moving the last bone in the system and it's affecting the previous bones right so this is this is the idea of this okay so here i can this is how i can change it it's pretty fun because you can have for example you can insert the keyframe and you can move from one keyframe to another just like that okay so this was a little bit about the rig. 
it's pretty complex. There are more more things you can turn it on or turn it off. So play with the rig. It's only in case you want to play with and you want to go a little bit further, a little bit de deeper. This is what you can do. But for many use cases, you, you can go and use the pose library because it's prepared for you. Again, you have the pose library here. You can create your own pose by moving the characters. One important thing is that if you want to move the character, these bottom arrows are the best way how you can just move them. Again, if I want to move them, G, X, G, Y, and G, Z. This is how you can play with them. Or just G. Or S is scale. S is scale. R is rotate. R, Y, X, Z. Okay, in case you want to change uh, the material, so again, I'm in the material properties. Here you can play with the color. Here are all the different functions, what you can do and change the color. If you want to change, for example, the, the material to metal. So this is how it look like, right? So you can just go here, grab it and change it. One cool thing is that on the internet, there are so many materials. So you can just download some material and apply it to this library. The idea to append anything is to go to append. And here you can find, for example, I know female. And I want to append some material and I will go here. So here is how I can append anything. It can be also from characters or from... Uh, animals or if you want to have for example collection so i like some hairs this is how you can append and so on and so on so again material and appending is pretty powerful thing because everything we build so many things we have so many libraries for example icons and you can combine icons with this illustrations library so this is pretty powerful again you don't have to know everything from the blender you just need to know how to combine the things and create your own scene for example Okay, so let's take a look how you can render something. If you want to have, if you want to render here in the output properties, you can change the format, the resolution. If you want to change, for example, to JPEG, this is how you can do it. And it will uh, render it to JPEG or to PNG file. If you want to have, for example, if you want to have a transparent background, you need to turn off the background now. And it just need to be sure that in a film, it's a transparent. So I'm going here to render properties, film transparent. And now if I click render image, right? So this is how it looks like. I just click the render and now in the image save as I can save the PNG file or JPEG or whatever I want to. Important to know that uh, RGBA alpha, uh, this is what we are looking if you want to have transparent background. So RGB, uh, red, green, blue and alpha channel, right? If I save it as I will have it. I will have the transparent background. If you want to play a little bit with the scene and with the world, this icon, uh, the world properties here is what you can just change it here. It can be a little bit wider. So if we have, for example, white background in the UI, this is what can be helpful because it will change little shadows and it will fit a little bit better to your white UI. If you have black, black UI uh, in, in the design, maybe you can put like 0 0.5 so it will fit better with the with the shadows okay so this was the tip about the scene and the render another tip is if you want to change the color of the skin there are two steps what you would need to do firstly you need to go to material properties and be in the object mode and click on the skin then uh, you would need to change the color right so for example i have something like smurf one thing what we used for the mouth is the texture so you would need to go and change the texture also the color of the texture and here it is how i will go and change it i need to go click on male black mouth and here in the unpack item i can use the directory where i have illustrations now i actually get textures here and now i got the the mouth texture right and now i need I need to open it to so Photoshop and now what I need to do is basically just simply change the color, right? So for example, I want to have the blue. Now what is important to know is that I want to match this color with the character. So I will just click and get the color out of the image. And now I need to just save it as, I will save it as a base color so two, right? So I'm going out and now in a blender, I need to find 
the PNG file which I did before and now what is important to know is that I need to match the color with the skin so as I did previously I need to go to Photoshop or to Figma or whatever program you want to use and now I will just change the color of the body and now it's it's correct again I'm using the simplify so it's low poly so I have blue color of the skin this would be pretty useful because uh, if you don't have enough space and you want to represent everyone in the design you will use some different color like purple blue to represent everyone every race every color skin in the world this is pretty powerful way and as you can see this is why there are so many uh, blue illustrations now I would like to show you two scripts which I am using one is loom it's not done by us but it can be pretty helpful if you want to for example render only few frames out of the whole animation so let's i will show you the use case for this let's go to uh, dope sheet and now as i meant as i showed you before i need to go to rig mail now i have all the combinations right so this is pretty powerful i have all the combinations back and let's say you want to render i don't know from 2000 to 2000 50 and then you want to render like some random from 4000 and maybe from 8000 so you have some a smaller package of different characters out with the one pose so how to do that so again link will be in the description but i'm going to use the loom firstly you need to uh, download the loom python this is the script add-on which will help us uh, to make it a little bit easier for us so now i'm going to preferences i'm going to add-on install loom right now it's installed i need to just find it loom. i will turn it on and now if i click ctrl shift f12 i got this render image sequence and if i click i know let's say i want to have from 0 to 20 from 1000 to 1102 1150 and it will just render it important to mention is that it will render it will render here in my desktop for example if i click that i want to have it so this is how again Control shift f12 if i click ok it's going to render them this is pretty powerful because you can change your character like as you want for example from the colors point of view from the pose point of view and now you can just render set subset of the same character so it's pretty powerful uh, that you don't need to go one by one or you don't need to go like you don't need to create them from the scratch so we just this little script you can generate i don't know like hundreds of different combinations right so this is how it look like on the from the desktop right this is pretty fun pretty powerful okay so this was about the rendering part and now i will show you how you can generate a different random character so again I'm going to scripting now i need to find uh, the randomizer find it i will click double click and now i will just run the script now what i got here is randomizer and i need to write csv bone file i need to uh, be in object mode and to click on the object and now i will just click generate random character now it's just generating random character if you want to set the keyframe this is how you can just click this you can just click this set keyframes and it will set the keyframe all right so i'm just generating random characters inside the blender this is pretty cool because as i mentioned for example you want to have one pose with different characters and you just select the characters change the colors and then just generate the random character voila you don't have to change everything from scratch or one thing what is important to mention is that you still can change it you still can change the hair you can still change the shirt to something else that's it it was a little bit longer because i wanted to show you all the tips what we have with the video illustrations library this is pretty big we worked almost a year or like more than a year on these illustrations get it out uh, and i believe that it can be pretty helpful and this is amazing asset what you can do here in the future we plan to uh, grow it a little bit more like new policies maybe new assets and to make it more accessible for for everyone i almost forget uh, that i wanted to show you that also inside is a wheelchair so you can just take it and you can just grab it uh, to, do, to do illustrations library that's it if you have any question please reach out to me at samuel3d.design if you want to learn more about illustrations library go to illustrations.design and if you want to learn more about 3d and our other libraries go to 3d.design have a great day 
Stay creative. Bye.